Hello and welcome to SAR Histories, where today we're going to be looking at some old maps of Staffordshire and Derbyshire. This map I purchased as I was researching my family tree to give me a sense of the world they lived in. The area was surveyed in 1879-81 to 81 in Derbyshire and 1881-81 in Staffordshire, but then revised in 1900 and again in 1920. Hatton was a lot smaller, just a single road that was known then as Hatton Road or sometimes Tupbury Road. Today we know it as Station Road. There is many things familiar to me as I have lived in the village for many years, like the Castle Hotel, which is now an apartment building, Narrow Lane, which is now part of Heathway, and the Condensed Milk Factory, which is Nestle. But most intriguing of all is the area where ancient coins were found in 1831. Workmen constructing an embankment to separate the outflow of the nearby cotton mill from the river found medieval coins which led to an increasing number of people wading waist deep into the river discovering thousands of coins, many of which disappeared and are unaccounted for to this day. On the opposite side of the River Dove is Tutbury. If you're familiar with the area you will easily identify the same areas today, the castle and church and street names being the same. Even the cricket ground in the old mill is still there to this day, though the mill itself has gone and is now a children's playground. Marston on Dove is much the same today, though the church is labelled as St John's, but this may be a mistake as I can't find any record of it ever being called St John's. Sudbury is a special place for me and my wife as we were married at Sudbury Hall, and her ancestors worked the park brand, two of which were poor bearers for Lord Vernon. This map shows how large the estate once was, before the A50 was cut through it. Features like the square pond, deer coat and the old rifle butts can still be seen today. The boar's head is still there today and behind it was Sudbury Dairy which is now gone and Sudbury once had its own station. Scrapton also remains mostly unchanged, though now the Forester's Arms has closed and Hollybank House is now a poultry factory called for sender. What is called Scrapton Road today was then called Scrapton Lane where heading back towards Hatton, you'll find Sunnyside. Sunnyside was a shambles place for the poorer community. My own ancestors lived here. There is an old tale that they used to bury babies that died somewhere in that area, as they were too poor to pay for funerals. Church Broughton was much the same then as it is now. Sutton on the hill shows it once thrived on industries, with the mill, a smithy, cheese manufactory and numerous farms.
Foston Hall is now a prison, though it was once a manor house of the late 17th century, which was destroyed by a fire in 1836. A new house was built, which can be seen on this map. The prison then acquired the hall and grounds in 1953. We now move on to Brierton, which was surveyed in 1882. It was once a village on its own, but is now part of Rugeley. St Michael's Church is the resting place of my ancestors, and I will soon be visiting in hope of finding them. My own ancestors lived on Colpit Lane and worked in the colliery. My fourth times great grandfather, Daniel Clark, was one of seven killed in an accident on the 6th of February 1861. The youngest to have died was just 12. Sadly, the family tragedy didn't end there as my third great uncle, Henry Chinnock, was crushed by falling coal on the 4th of December 1863. He was aged just 12. Mining was a big part of the area, the Lee Hall mine being the largest with several smaller ones. All these mines have now ceased to operate. As we pour over this map, it is evident how many coal pits there were, and connected by railways. The last map is of Boylston, surveyed in 1878 to 1879 and revised in 1899. It shows much of what it does today, 
mainly being farmland. My wife's ancestors can be found in the churchyard here, thus it has a special place to us. In 1644, a royalist detachment was captured here and shortly imprisoned in the church. If you have enjoyed this video, please support the channel by liking and subscribing. Until next time, goodbye.